Joe Paterno, college football's all-time leader in bowl wins and appearances, coaching game number 500, leading the Nittany Lions against Texas A&M in front of the largest Alamo Bowl crowd ever. Hi, everyone. I'm Phil Shaner with WBRE Sports in San Antonio, Texas. It's been 42 days since Penn State played their last football game, and it showed early on against the Aggies. Before Penn State could even shake off the rust, they found themselves down 14-0. Two Mike Goodson touchdown runs for Texas A&M. The Aggies up 14-0 after one quarter. When the second quarter started, Penn State woke up in a hurry. On a fourth and three, Anthony Morelli goes deep to Dion Butler. Great catch by Dion, 30-yard touchdown, 14-7. After a Texas A&M fumble, Penn State put Daryl Clark in at quarterback and lined Morelli up as a wide receiver. Clark takes off and dives into the end zone. 11-yard touchdown run. Game tied at 14-all. 9.02 to go in the second quarter. Penn State closed the first half with a 16-play drive. The key play, 32-yard hookup Morelli to Terrell Golden. That set up a Kevin Kelly 25-yard field goal. Kelly's 20th straight game with a field goal. The Nittany Lions scored 17 unanswered points to take a 17-14 halftime lead. Texas A&M tied the game in the third quarter with a field goal. Penn State answered the Aggies' 18-play, 78-yard drive by going 84 yards, 38 of those yards by Evan Royster for the touchdown, the longest run of the season for the red-shirted freshman running back. Penn State back on top, 24-17 after three quarters. Fourth quarter, the Penn State defense stepped up. Texas A&M drove 98 yards, but were stopped on a fourth and one from the two-yard line. Then the Alamo Bowl offensive MVP, Rodney Kinlaw, helped run out the clock. Kinlaw, 21 carries for 143 yards. Party time at the Alamo. Penn State wins it, the final, 24-17. You guys, you knew you could score on them if you get it going, but a little maybe rust early on? Yeah, they got out, got out on us. I think we were still a little asleep. So when we started uh, coming around off and started scoring, we did a great job. So What a way to end a career, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> they jumped on us. you got to give credit to them. Though. They're a tough team. They really regrouped after their coach leaving, and, and they did a great job. My last game, you know, I wanted to go out and, and try and do everything perfect. And, uh, you know, I was just trying to throw the ball a little too hard today. But, you know, we got it done when it, when it counted. Um, you know, some big, big third down plays. And, um, you know, Royster did a great job running the ball. It, 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 it was always a big play, and uh, I mean, I just I, I can't I can't take the credit for it. You know, it was, it was all them. I didn't even have to I didn't have to do much but run straight. We, we were confident in what we could do, but um, we just knew we were killing ourselves. We fumbled and stuff like that. So once we eliminated those turnovers, we knew we could play. Okay, Coach Jay Paterno told me that I was going to be in the script this week, you know, and I got excited about that, you know. And we, he grabbed me before the game and told me make sure I stay focused, make sure I, you know, I, I zone in, and make sure when I get the time, make the best of it. And when he gave me those calls, I went out. I was nervous at first, but after the first hit, it, it, it was all go. And I talked to him uh, all week about Hey, you don't want to go out, go out of here with two, lot, two, two losses in a row. You're too good a football team for that. And I said, but uh, you, know, you want to go out of here with, with something that you can be proud of. And then I, then I did. As a senior class, we wanted to do that. You know, we came in and uh, we were terrible. <laughs> we, we, uh, we had about three wins. We were watching all these on TV uh, from back home. So to be able to come back and uh, put together seasons we've had, uh, my sophomore, junior, senior, I mean, it's been unbelievable. I mean, it's been such a great experience. The Penn State senior class leaves their mark with three straight bowl wins. A lot of talent coming back next year. The expectations will be very high again at Happy Valley. That is the story from San Antonio, Texas, as we wrap up our Alamo Bowl coverage. Phil Shaner, WB. Sports.